For nearly three decades, pianist Johnny Johnson was one of the unsung heroes of rock and roll. Laying down a solid rhythmic pulse behind Chuck Berry's down-home songs, he helped provide the building blocks for an entirely new genre of music. While it was Berry who would bask in the spotlight, it was actually Johnson who gave Berry his first break. On New Year's Eve 1953, Johnson asked Berry to fill in when his saxophonist suffered a stroke. Berry stayed on, and well, the rest is rock and roll history. Soon, Berry was the group's songwriter, singer, and guitarist. When Muddy Waters helped land the group an audition for Chess Records, Johnson went along for the ride. And what a ride it was. Listen to School Days, Carol, and Nadine, and you'll hear Johnson's rolling, often understated piano licks. He's also regarded as the inspiration for one of rock's most famous anthems, Johnny B. Good. Johnny Johnson was born on July 8, 1924 in Fairmont and began playing piano at the age of five. After serving with the Marine Corps, where he joined a serviceman's jazz orchestra called the Barracudas, he moved to Detroit and then Chicago, where he sometimes set in with bluesmen Muddy Waters and Little Walter. In 1952, Johnson settled in St. Louis, where he put together the Sir John Trio. When Barry stepped in for his ailing saxophonist, the band's sound changed considerably. A reworking of Bob Will's classic Ida Red landed Barry that deal with chess, and Maybelline became the first single, backed with Wee Wee Hours, an instrumental that had been in Johnson's repertoire for years, with some quick lyrics penned by Barry. Johnson received little recognition until the release of Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll, the 1987 concert documentary which celebrated Barry's 60th birthday. That attention encouraged Johnson, who was working as a bus driver in St. Louis, to return to music. Before long, he was playing with the likes of Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, Errol Smith, John Lee Hooker, and Bo Diddley. That same year, he recorded Blue Hand Johnny, the first of a string of solo albums. In 1992, Johnny B. Bad, recorded for Electra Nunsuch Records, featured cameos by guitarists Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, and Steve Ferguson, and signaled the beginning of a decade of increased visibility. In 1996 and 97, Johnson toured with Grateful Dead guitarist Bob Weir's band, Rat Dog. Thanks in part to the work of fans, including Keith Richards, Johnson was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. Johnny Johnson died in St. Louis on April 13, 2005.